All right, farmers, last week I asked you to tell me the units for your percent strength. So that's weight, that's volume. Those are typically the ones you're going to see. Most commonly, I always saw the percent weight to volume on practice problems and things like that throughout the internet. But there's also the weight to weight, and there's also the volume to volume. Luckily, it's pretty easy in most of the time because it's always X over 100 because it's a percent. And then your weight is always going to be grams, and your volume is always going to be milliliters. So if you have a percent weight to weight, that's x grams over 100 grams. If you have a percent volume to volume, that's x milliliter over 100 milliliter. So of course a percent weight to volume is x grams over 100 milliliters. Something to keep in mind with weight to volume is your things like D5W, you know, your dextrose, that 5%. That's a weight to volume. So 5% means 5 grams in every 100 milliliters. Same goes for something like normal saline, all right, because that's grams a milliliter. So keep those in mind. For tomorrow, let's go with your parts per million. Uh, this is simple. It can be an easy. I got that one right for sure. So like this video if you did get your units right, and leave a comment on how to get to parts per million. You know, when you have a percentage strength, how do you convert that to parts per million? If you have a parts per million, how do you convert this to percentage strength? Because you can do the whole percentage strength, and if you missed, that it asked you for the answer in parts per million, you know, or even if it asked you to round here, round to one place, you get the whole question wrong. Or if you uh, round during the problem, you get the whole question wrong. So remember that. Remember to uh, not really trust that calculator they give you, because it can auto round. They can only fit so much on that screen. So you know, use that for your simple ones, things you know the answer to, you just need that confirmation. Pull out the on-screen computer and use that for these problems that require lots of decimal places. If you're off just by a little, you do get the answer wrong according to your NAPLEX bulletin. And that is a free tip. <laughs> That's what Rx Prep, you know, skips around there in the book. If you want some more tips, go ahead and sign up for the email. And you'll get 10 free tips sent to you immediately. So go ahead and comment on this video if you know the answer to parts per million. I will see you tomorrow with the answer.